my name is uh, Louis, Louis Opter. Um, I'm a decent, decent software engineer. Um, doesn't really matter where I am. Um, I don't really know anything about hardware, and I think that's an important part of this talk. Is I'm playing with like hardware devices, I'm playing with IoT, and I don't really know anything about this. I'm really just a software engineer. So if we're going to slide number three, uh, agenda. Uh, uh, um, so this talk is going to talk about two related projects. One is uh, Monolite, uh, which is an UI uh, uh, for like devices like this one, which is basically like a matrix of buttons, like this, okay, to control light bulbs. Light bulbs like this guy here, uh, guy, girl, I don't know actually, uh, this bulb. Uh, uh, um, so that's like Monolite. It runs an interface on this button array. And then LightsD, uh, which is a daemon to control the light bulbs. So this daemon talks to the light bulbs, exposes a high level API, and I can control the light, bulb, light bulbs this, this way. So uh, uh, um, I'm going to first talk about Monolite. So I, could, I control the bulbs through this like, button array. I'm going like, to give you some details about the project, and then I'm going to talk about LightsD, which was actually most of the work, uh, uh, which is a demon to talk to the bulbs. And then we're going to have maybe some time for the discussion. So if you go on, on uh, uh, um, style number four, you have this uh, high-level architecture diagram. Uh, 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 um, so you can see that like, uh, Monolight talks to both LightsD on the button array, and that's how I control the bulbs. If you go on next, you see that like, port one is going to be about Monolight, port two is going to be about LightsD. Then on style number five, uh, uh, titled Monolite, so I just talked about like what, you know, what I said. 128 buttons. Uh, each button has like 16 level of brightness. This is how I can like you know make, make up a new UI by playing with the brightness levels. Uh, it's connected over serial. <coughs> the next slide, uh, it's controlling this smart bulb, uh, which is uh, made by this brand called Lifefix. Uh, 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 it's a, about a thousand lumens bulb, so it's pretty high brightness. It's like a 70 watt light bulb. Uh, it has nice colors. It can do like all the colors. It has a nice range of whites from like you know 2,500 uh, Kelvin to like 9,000 Kelvin. <coughs> and those light bulbs are connected over Wi-Fi, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So next slide. Uh, let's have a, a look at the control UI. So you have the grid. So you have like this slide should be show, just show a grid, okay? And then next slide you see that uh, uh, um, the bottom row is where I wrote some functions. So like bottom row is de dedicated to functions. So for example, you know, you'll see have like uh, on, I can like off, other functions I'll show later. <laughs> um, so yeah, next slide like shows you like some of the functions where like they're mapped, like how it works. Uh, um, you know, we could I could like Add more or more things to those uh, to those balance, like for example, control like you know MPD, control other things, uh, uh, and then I have like uh, uh, um, split the the array into like four control pads, right? So this is like one control pad here, here, right? Uh, uh, and like there is like four sliders, uh, uh, um, and I have like some function other functions at the top, right? So if you go on the next slide, you see like uh, uh, what each slider is. Uh, uh, okay, awesome. So can I make make it like full screen? Oh, yeah. Uh, like let's let's do for the next talk. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I don't know how to put this full screen. Okay, perfect. Okay, so and okay. Just, just use it here, back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, here. Okay. So like, that most slider is like you know the heat and then saturation, brightness, temperature. So that's the uh, HSBK, uh, uh, you know, color model, uh, uh, HSB, and then we add the uh, the temperature. So I like you know can increment, decrement. Uh, uh, so for example, I can show this here. So I turn this guy off again. I'm gonna like you know uh, bring up the brightness, uh, which is here. I'm going to change the color, which is here. You can do those two things at the same time. OK. And so on, so on. Can I make it like less saturated? 
this one, right? <laughs> so you can all see like it changed color. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. So like that was kind of the demo. Like, see, okay, other things. Uh, okay, like other things. I think this is like is like ooh, like this. <laughs> okay, the small functions. What's interesting to see is that I'm gonna make a, a smoother one. Uh, uh, oh, that's white. Uh, that's blue. I'm gonna. So like, what's interesting is like the board shows like the the side of the bar being like with low latency, right? That's sort of like a feature of what I did. It's like, it shows really like what the status of the bulb is. It's not like, you know, predicted or something. In fact, the real status of the, of the light bulbs is shown on the, on the board. So for example, if I uh, make it like, you know, transition, we can see that uh, the sliders are moving by themselves, right? And that's not programmed. It's just like showing the real status of the light bulbs, right? Okay. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show uh, 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 is like how like the interface is like defined, uh, which I think is like uh, um, pretty interesting. So I'm gonna go back on GitHub. Not, no oh, there is no internet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you wait a minute, I can pull it up. Uh, uh, um, um, e yeah. So <laughs> um, actually, yeah, I love to do this. If you can like do this, yeah. that would be awesome. Um, so like uh, because so like the way uh, 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 all this is implemented is uh, uh, in Python. So like the the program that controls the grid is in Python, and uh, um, the API I made internally are pretty high level. And the way you like uh, set your UI element on the grid is I think pretty interesting. Uh, uh, it's pretty high level, uh, uh, um, and um, that's about it for like Monolite uh, on the implementation details, which you'll find on the slides. So this is Python. I've been using uh, Python 3.5 and 3.6 with uh, tab annotations, uh, which are awesome. So you basically like you know do uh, type Python. I uh, really encourage you to look into this if you do Python a lot. Uh, um, and then I use AsyncIO. Uh, so everything is in synchronous. Uh, 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 ooh, awesome! Thank you so much. Uh, um, so I'm gonna go on my profile. Um, so here we go. You even know like the repository architecture by the end. That, that's pretty awesome. Um, so it's gonna be UI layers. So it's basically like what I'm using. Uh, 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 no, no. Okay. Space. Yeah. <laughs> Space. So see, here's how the UI is defined, right? So like I do. Okay, I have like a root layer on line 49, and then I can insert some balance. The balance are different actions in line. So, see for example, like the alert, uh, 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 you know, the ping breath, which is the effect I did where it was moving slowly. There is the alert, which is uh, 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 um, the the flashing I did. So, see, I just like define some balance, say where they are, define the actions. It's very like declarative. That's pretty cool. Okay, coming back to the presentation itself. Uh, uh, okay, wanted to like show maybe one more thing that's interesting on the on the um, with Monolite. Something I'd like to do next is like I'm just gonna show it on the sides. So imagine we have two functions, like you know, timer and alert. Uh, uh, um, so we could say like press the timer button, and then you know you have this at shop, which is like a timer picker, right? You select how much time you want on your timer, uh, and then uh, press the target once you have selected the time. Uh, press an effect like alert, which is the one I played and flashed the bulb with, uh, and then I will like run automatically, right? Uh, uh, so like one thing I do with my light bulbs a lot is I use them as a kitchen timer. <laughs> uh, I have like bulbs all over the the, the house. Uh, um, and, like the kitchen timer thing is pretty nice, you know, it doesn't like blow your like hair drums. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. I talked about it already. I use oh, I'm just gonna talk about like um, art and pop-ups. I'm using his library to talk to the button grid. It's GPL with V3. Other stuff to do. Okay, I'm gonna skip over like lights D. Uh, I'm gonna skip this demo, but basically like uh, 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 this is how I will like show you the same thing, but come in line. So show you how to talk to lights D, the demon that controls the light bulbs, which runs directly on the Wi-Fi access point here. Uh, 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 um, like it has very high level API in Python. Like you know, I will show you an example in Python again. You can just like you know 
do a decompression and you get like you know a one liner you get the set of the bulbs other one liner you can set you know turn them off on do some effects very simple no discovery delay very high level uh, okay that is that's the point project actually like you know what I showed you so far on the grid is really like a small amount of the work most of the work was in ISD the other project uh, 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 it's in C runs everywhere details here. Uh, the original ideas be behind ISD uh, uh, were to remove like discovery delays, glitches uh, that comes with uh, uh, what the Leafix manufacturer uh, 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 delivered to you with the light bulbs. Basically, like the so like the bulbs are nice, uh, but the software stack is sort of like not so not so good. It got a lot better in like three years, uh, 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 but like at the beginning it was really really bad, and that's why I started the project. Uh, so original ideas like you know, reduce like issues, improve the user experience. Uh, uh, um, also, I had like security in mind, right? Uh, I don't want to have light bulbs on my like you know home network. I want light bulbs to be on a separate, dedicated, closed network. I don't want them to have access to internet. I don't want them to access anything really, right? And Light Z by acting as a proxy allows you to do this, right? You can isolate the bulb on the network and use Light Z as a, as a gateway to the bulbs, right? <laughs> So no cloud, no internet required, no nothing. Uh, uh, um, again, GPW3. And like something I have in mind with this project is also like to make it accessible to people, right? This is a personal project. I'm not doing this for like profit. I'm not doing this as part of my company. I'm not doing it uh, purely, entirely personal. And uh, 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 I want to make it accessible. So like have good code, uh, uh, show good practices. Uh, you know, I did like Python 3.6, like you know, bleeding edge stuff. Uh, 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 so, like you know, that's an opportunity to do this, right? Good docs. Uh, on the implementation details for LightSD, uh, uh, it uses so LightFix has two APIs. Uh, one is HTTP; it goes over the cloud, and one is like on the local network. It's UDP; it's much faster, also much harder to use. Uh, uh, um, so I proxy all the communications to the bulbs. You know, I do. I use sampling to keep track of the bulbs, right? Everything is like the bulb themselves. You can like ask their state, set their state, <laughs> but like you know the protocol is completely stateless, right? I need to like do sampling to like know what the state of the bulbs are, right? So I just like pull them all the time, right? Uh, and that's how I get to be have low latency. Uh, you can talk to my high level high level API uh, uh, over TCP, Unix sockets. Basically, like my API offers you like the same kind of functionality you have with your code API. Except there is no cloud, right? It's all on your local network. On this project, I had like you know some uh, some fun parts and some like you know uh, uh, more like headbanging parts. Uh, um, one part I like to talk about especially is like what I call like stack position, right? Uh, uh, um, Light Z is actually like a like sort of in the middle in the stack, right? Uh, uh, on the left, it's what I call like in lower level stuff, which are like the bulb, it's hardware, it's embedded. Uh, 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 on the right, you have like Monolite, which is a user interface. It's in Python, it's high level, it's a GUI. It's like, you know, there is not much, you know, system level programming stuff. And that is in the middle, it's in C. Uh, uh, and I find it's pretty interesting <coughs> because it's open up, it opens up to like a wide range of topics, right? Uh, uh, by working, and like I didn't know it would go this way when I started working on LightSD, but like, it really opened up to a lot of things. Uh, uh, I can like either go really deep down and start doing reverse engineering, start writing like firmware bits and like on the light bulbs and like do like more hardware related things, or I can go very high level and start like writing GUIs and like very high level code, right? And I found this pretty interesting. Uh, some notes on the LifeX bulbs uh, I want to share with you. Uh, if you like, if you want to like, get them, get them on sale. Uh, they're pretty expensive. Uh, um, I think they still have the best brightness and colors on the market uh, as of today. Uh, and the bit, like, you know, their competitors in this. Uh, you have to keep in mind their standby power consumption, which is still fairly high. I'm pretty pissed at, like, you know, the bulbs, like, saying, like, here on the, on the box, it's, like, rated A when the thing, like, you know, consumes two watts in, in standby. Uh, uh, I mean, if you have, like, you know, like, 10 light bulbs, you have, like, it's stuck if you had always one fully, uh, uh, fully turned on. Uh, uh, um, they have a cool LAN API, and I think they are the only vendor to do this. And it's pretty cool. Like, I mean, like, I hope they keep it. It's pretty nice. Uh, uh, um, they're not super mega open about it, but they're not really close about it either, right? Uh, uh, um, one thing, though, is 
Well, I mean, the first generation of bulbs doesn't crash for me, right? Uh, everything they made after this, and they're in generation three, uh, 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 basically crashes, right? They have like, I could go into the details of this, uh, 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 um, but uh, under some Wi-Fi conditions, which always happen to me, uh, open up, which always happen for me, the bulb crashes, unfortunately. So really, what I wanted to say about this is like, binary blobs suck. Really, I love to be able to get access to the firmware source code and like be able to like have something more open there so I could like debug and eventually fix what's going on. Like fix debug, like have the opportunity to take action on this, right? Or replace their stuff with my own, stuff like this, right? Uh, um, so really, again, like, you know, free software convention, <laughs> binary blobs suck, still the case. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> Uh, um, really? Thank you. Uh, like other things I want to do on this project, uh, you know, do a time-based release, uh, um, improve my CI automation, uh, do what I call set enforcement. Uh, uh, um, so basically, like in my in LightsD, maintain two versions of the light bulbs: one which is the reality, and one uh, which is what I want. And because it's like all uh, very janky, you know, LightsD will like always try to make. What's supposed to be the reality, right? So like I have two views and I apply one on, on top of each other. And um, then with this, be able to do a, a real cool like effects API, I have effects plugin, they're like really reliable, right? Uh, and stuff like this. Um, other things I like to do, but I'm, you know, I will never do, not have time. But however, like if other people want to do like, you know, firmware, like something I love to do is like be able to like debug the firmwares and I have access to the firmwares. Uh, uh, um, just make it easier for me to like reverse engineer their API, stuff like this. That would be awesome. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, uh, um, we have like a minute left for discussion <laughs> <laughs> and questions. So like, please go ahead. Don't be shy. Otherwise, I have like a slide. Okay, one question here. Yeah. So have you been in contact with the supplier of the? Line? Yes, I've been in contact with the supplier. Can you repeat? Uh, oh, repeat the question. Yes. So have I been in contact with uh, with the supplier um, about my project? Yes. Uh, actually, yes. Uh, uh, and that we recognize that, like, for example, the crashes, uh, uh, and the, they say it only affects a, a small amount of people, uh, uh, but it certainly affects me. Uh, uh, um, they've been pretty nice. They don't really care about the project because I'm doing something which is like completely different from like their product, right? Their product is cloud, it works in like mobile. I'm doing a demon in C that you have to install somewhere, right? I make it as easy as possible, but at some point you're gonna have to run an app get or you're gonna have to like, Use a pen and like you know, put it somewhere in a Raspberry Pi, whatever you want. But you have to open a Hutu and type some comments, right? Uh, uh, so they're not something. You know, they're not really interested, right? I believe, and like I totally understand this. They are not interested to open the firmware. Either. No, they're not. I, I also ask this question. They're clearly not interested in opening their firmware. Yeah. Any other question? No. Okay. Well, thank you so much.